Hello, I'm Lee from the blog Little by Little Home, and today I'm going to share with you some simple summer decorating ideas for your living room. Before I get started, if you can take a moment and hit that like button, that would really be helpful. The algorithm here on YouTube really depends upon the amount of interaction and the likes that I get. It really helps my video and my channel get out there to other people, and I would just really appreciate that. And if you haven't subscribed yet, now is a good time to go ahead and do that too. Okay, so let's get started on talking about decorating for summer, bringing in some simple ideas into your living room to get ready for that season. The first thing you might be thinking is like decorating for summer? What in the world is that? We tend to think about obviously decorating for Christmas and the holidays around that time. Um, but think back to like when fall comes, oftentimes we'll bring in some rustic colors, maybe some uh, dried um, flowers and you know, just different types of things that make us think about fall. Winter comes after the Christmas holidays and we might tend towards uh, putting out some decor that just is um, a little bit darker, but then spring comes and we'll bring in some lighter colors some pastels. That's what I kind of tend to do. The big thing that I do is change out pillow covers and that can completely change the look and the feel of our living room. But then summer comes. I know if you're like me, we tend to get busy, kids activities, um, outdoor projects, and I kind of forget about decorating the inside. But this time around, I decided to do a little bit of decorating. This is also part of a blog hop. I have an entire blog post all about decorating just simply for summer in our living room, and that's in the description below. There are a bunch of other bloggers linked in that blog post that are decorating different spaces within and outside of their homes. So you can get a lot of inspiration if you wanted to go ahead and check that out. So summer, how do we decorate for summer? My thought behind all this was to simplify, to just use the things that I already had in my home. I only made one new purchase for this summer decorating uh, idea here, and that is the pillow covers, the blue. In the video here that looks a little bit purple, but it's kind of, I have one over here on this couch as well. I feel like it's a good medium type of blue. I don't tend to decorate with a lot of blue in my home, but this is just a fun way to add just a nice cool color. I kept the other pillow covers that I already had out, the mauve ones, and they go well with the blue but everything else is just stuff that I pulled and rearranged within my home. And that's just a great way of giving a new look for a season. Decorating for summer is just by moving things around, putting some fresh things, some fresh greenery. So let me show you what I did this time. I personally don't want a lot of maintenance of a lot of decor. I wanna just kinda of clean up as we go along, do a good cleaning on a Saturday, but pretty much just leave it minimal and just let everything be because we would like to be outside more than inside in the summertime. When it comes to a living room, if you have a fireplace and a mantle, that is a natural place to be able to easily change out decor. It can be very minimal. It doesn't have to be anything ornate or extravagant, and it can give a different feel for the room simply by changing that out. I recently painted our fireplace, the stone and above. If you go back a couple of videos, I talked all about the reason why I did that. I'm really enjoying it. It has completely changed the look and the feel of our living room. It has made it feel smaller, but in a good way, smaller in a cozy and more casual way, and we're really enjoying it. So this was fun to decorate it for summer now. I wanted to only use items that I already had in my house. This was completely free to do. What I did was I trimmed off a bunch from my pothos plant. It had gotten quite long and stringy and I put them into different glass bottles. The fun thing is that I had forgotten that I had some of these glass bottles and they were ones that we had found on our property at our farmhouse that we owned before this house. So it was fun to dig into my basket and find those glass jars and I was like, this is gonna be perfect and it brought back some fun memories. Basically, I am using the mantle decor as a dual purpose. It is decor, but I'm also trying to propagate these pothos plants. What's gonna happen is while they sit just purely in water, they will grow roots and I'll be able to plant them into a pot with soil and add them to other parts of our home or give them away to friends. So to me, it is a functional beauty. It is adding a little bit of fresh decor for summer by having fresh clippings, but I don't have to do anything. Really the only maintenance is just to double check that the water hasn't run down too low and then I can just refill the water and let it go. My hope is that by the end of the summer, these will all have roots and I can go ahead and put them into plants uh, with soil and use them in different spaces within my home. The books that I used are just old vintage books that I picked up at antique stores or yard sales just along the way. I decided to only use ones that were pulling in the colors that I was focusing on. I have some blues and some greens and some creams. And I tried uh, two different ways of arranging them. Really, I didn't spend much time on it, just kind of stack some uh, height-wise and some um, on top of each other just to give just the varying heights, draws the eye in and just gives it uh, a more interesting type of look. 
I first put them all together in the middle of the mantle, stepped back and looked, and between the mirror and that, it just felt like everything was congregated in the middle of the mantle. So really what I did was I just separated them out to both sides and left it. House plants kind of became the theme for my summer decor. They just add a freshness, um, some life to our living room here during the summer. We've got a lot of planting that we're gonna be doing outside this summer. And so this is just a way to bring the outside inside with uh, plants that are specific for being indoors. So I have those scattered throughout our living room. An inexpensive way to make a little bit of a change for the seasons is to change out the different pictures that you have within your wall decor. The ones that I have on either side of our fireplace are simply prints that I have torn out of an old art book that I found at a library or a yard sale. And it was a completely free change here for this summer. I also decided to add a frame into the front part of our living room. We call it the library because eventually it's going to be a library. I have some plans all about that, but just the budget isn't there quite for that yet, but we're calling it the library. Even though I don't have a ton of books in there, I have all of my books stored away, just waiting for that to be a library. Okay, so the walls are painted black, which most people don't see until you actually go into that space and then you turn around and see it. It's kind of a fun little surprise and hint, that's where all the bookshelves are gonna go eventually when we, uh, when we add them. But I decided to stop leaving that space above the one cupboard uh, empty and just pulled out a frame from my stash of frames, which I talked about when I did a thrift haul video a month or two back. I will grab any frames that I can find at thrift stores that I like and that I can repaint. This is one that I had used for around Christmas time and then had put it away and just again found a print from an old art book and put it in there and hung it up. The cabinet that sits below it holds all of our games and by putting some burlap on the inside of the window you don't see all those games so that's a little bit of a hint if you want to try to hide some things um, just put some fabric anything on the inside and you won't be able to see all of the games that are in there but we can easily get access to it for family game night on the other side of our library wall is another cabinet down below that you'll maybe notice that there is also fabric inside the glass there that's where i have my kombucha that i'm fermenting um, i can talk about that maybe in a future video if you guys are interested in that i had been decorating with a bunch of books they're old vintage books and i ended up using most of those on our mantle and the rest of them i tucked down below in the bottom of the shelf and decided to, again, carry on the theme of just some fresh house plants and walked around my house, found a couple that were just stragglers in different places within my home and just put them together and it's done. It's decorated for summer. One thing that I added to our living room specific to summer is a couple of jars and a container on the coffee table that has shells in it. Throughout the years, we've collected shells and little stones from our various family vacations, and I pulled them out for this. It's just kind of fun to look back and to try to remember where we had found these different shells, but it just adds a specific feeling of summer to our living room by having different shells and different stones that you would only find on a beach uh, decorating our room. Another quick and simple way to change out decor is to change your pillow covers. I don't necessarily buy pillows anymore. Sometimes I will purchase new pillows just because I want the pillow cover, but I will always make sure that they have some type of zipper on them. I also only purchase pillow covers, maybe from online instead of buying an entire pillow. It is so much easier to store pillow covers. What I'll do is when the seasons change out, I will take out the one off the ones that I don't want to use and I will give them a quick wash and then I will store them for another season. And it uh, is so, again, it's so much easier. <laughs> Instead of trying to store an entire pillow, you can just fold up a pillow cover and put it in a bag into a drawer. That takes up much less room than pillows do. I hope that this video has encouraged you to maybe give a look around and see if maybe you can add a little bit of freshness to your living room for summer. And it doesn't have to be anything over the top. I mean, if you want to go over the top, go ahead, it's your home. Go with what's your style and what your budget is. Go ahead and see what you can use um, as functional beauty. Again, you can use some clippings from some plants, you can propagate them and use them as decor while they are growing their roots. Thanks for watching this video. If you haven't done so yet, go ahead and hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, now's your time to do that. But again, thanks for watching. Have a great day and we'll see you next time.